Hey, welcome back to Turntable Guy. Here's part two of the uh, PL570. Um, it's the gear motor, also known as the timing motor. Uh, this is the uh, issue we had with a broken chewed up gear inside the timing motor. Uh, here is the portion of the motor that uh, contains the gears. It sits in this cavity here. Um, the gentleman who owns it uh, has ordered a couple Actually, he ordered one, but he got two uh, 3D printed parts. That's them there. So that's the gear on its own. And this is the gear with the transferred shaft. Alrighty. So that goes in here like that. And as you can see, I can do this with one hand. Sorry about the shadow. It's spinning again. So, just so you know, this is not cheap. He paid over a hundred bucks for this here. And uh, it came out of Poland. Because the local place wanted an arm and a leg as well to get these printed, which I don't understand. I thought the cost of 3D printing had gone down. Um, you know, I'm no uh, rocket scientist, but uh, I'm thinking there's not more than, what, five cents worth of plastic here? Like, I, I don't know. I understand people wanting to make a profit or whatever, but uh, this is a bit insane for a piece of plastic. But, I mean, it's, uh, the turntable is worth good money, and uh, it'd be worth even more money when it's functioning correctly. So, anyway, um, that's the gear in. I am going to lubricate, uh, put a little bit, he has supplied a little bit of this uh, synthetic grease here. I'm going to put a little bit around here, and uh, then we'll put the cap back on and uh, go from there. Okay, we're lubed up. To put this back, you want to definitely turn it so the gears are facing up you don't want them falling down and then just kind of put your shaft through and then you're going to want to line it up to where they kind of fit in there there and it clicks and then you're good and uh, i don't know if i can spin that by hand or not but you can kind of see it spinning in there so this motor's all done. Okay. So there you go. There's the solution here. 3D printed gear. The motor shaft comes in through, comes in through here. And it uh, touches the first gear here, which spins a second. And our output shaft here is the new black one, which is right there. All right. Well, that's really all we have on this one. Uh, I'm not going to go through the uh, servicing of the, uh, the uh, PL570. There's the part number again. That's the, the, the motor. Here's our repaired PL570 gearbox and uh, that's a short one for today uh, spare gear um, if you're looking to get this done um, I believe it was on eBay I'm not going to give out names or whatever because uh, I'm not giving people free advertising plus I think this is a little too expensive but uh, it is an option if uh, you know your PL570 is your, your prime turntable and you want to keep it running and if you do have a 570 and you've never serviced the gearbox um, I'm going to highly recommend that you remove this from your turntable. It requires a little bit of disassembly. Um, and I will guarantee you that yours is next. It's, it's going to fail. It is designed to fail. And what you're going to want to do is get some WD-40 and just spray it in here and let it sit for an hour. And that will dissolve all the old grease. And then get it apart, dry it all up, get the WD-40 out of there, and get some synthetic grease on these gears. And uh, you should be good to go. Okay, one quick addendum here. Um, if there's one thing people like, they like to see uh, the results of a repair. 
So here we go. This is really exciting stuff. There you go. Motor's fixed. Catch you in the next one.